this is metallurgy with AJR. Fracture. What is fracture? Fracture is generally defined as a material separation. Here, I am going to discuss about the two types of fracture that is the brittle and ductile fracture and differentiate between the brittle and ductile fracture in an easy and a simple way. Brittle fracture Brittle fracture permits no plastic deformation prior to the fracture. The sample for our explanation is a bone. It fractures into two halves. Now when the bolt is placed so that the fracture surface is rejoined together, you can see that there is no plastic deformation along the bolt. So the rejoined shape is equal to the original shape. Ductile fracture. For our explanation, a mild steel is taken for tensile testing. The mild steel plate is tested and it fractures into two halves. The fractures two halves are rejoined and you can see that there is extensive plastic deformation due to microwide coalescence. So this is a case of ductile failure. The rejoin shape is not equal to the original shape. Stress strain diagram of a brittle fracture. Here you can see that initially the stress versus strain is a constant and it is governed by the Young's modulus of the material. So the area under that stress strain curve is calculated and this is the energy absorbed in a brittle fracture. It is also referred as the stiffness of the material. So the energy absorbed is the stiffness of the material. This is a brittle fracture or brittle behavior. This is diagram of a ductile fracture. Here you can see that the stress versus strain is a constant up to a particular level governed by the Young's modulus and it goes to the yield point then after the yield point work ordering starts plastic deformation is extensive with the micro white nucleation and necking takes place and after necking the final fracture here you can see the specimen in the specimen you can see the necking part where extensive plastic deformation has taken place due to micro white coalescence So now the area under the stress strain diagram is taken for our interest. This gives the energy absorbed by the material. Here in this case, the energy absorbed is more when compared to a brittle material. Because here you are having the elastic part as well as the plastic part. This is indirectly called as the toughness of the material. That is, the area under the stress strain curve is called the toughness. 
meet you with more metallurgical concepts. Don't forget to like my channel and subscribe. Thank you.